Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the rotating 5% category credit cards for quarter two of 2020. So let's take a look at these categories and how we can maximize them. Now, if you're someone who likes credit card rewards and learning how to travel for less, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn that notification bell on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channel out. Now, I'm a big fan of the 5X cards because earning 5X on every purchase is fantastic and it's really hard to beat that. Plus, all of these cards have no annual fees, which is great. And starting off with the Discover It credit card, the Discover categories for quarter two are gonna be for gas stations, Uber, Lyft, and wholesale clubs. And this is really targeting a lot of people here. People who commute, 5% back on gas is great. And if you're someone who uses ride shares, then Discover has you covered here as well. And then people who shop at Wholesale Club, well again, Discover has you covered. And this even includes people who shop at Costco, because while you can't use your Discover card to pay for Costco purchases in store, you can use your Discover card to make payments online. So this is a great and easy way to earn 5% back on food, gift cards, or other items you might need. But remember with the Discover card, you are limited to earning 5% back on the first $1,500 you spend each quarter. Then taking a look at the Chase Freedom credit card. The Chase Freedom categories for quarter two are gonna be for grocery stores, gym memberships, and fitness centers. And you know what, I love the grocery earnings here. Gym memberships and fitness memberships is nice, but I'm not sure how many people are truly gonna utilize that. But if you can, you can always try to pay for your gym membership in full or in advance for the year to take advantage of that 5% earnings. Also, if you don't think you're gonna max out this category, remember you can buy third-party gift cards at grocery stores like Amazon or other stores and earn 5X back on those purchases. And remember, just like Discover, with the Chase Freedom credit card, you are limited to earning that 5X back on the first $1,500 you spend each quarter. And what I really like here is the fact that Chase and Discover switched categories because Discover was groceries for quarter one and the Chase Freedom card was gas for quarter one. So with these quarter two categories, people are basically getting half the year at earning 5% back on gas and grocery stores with no annual fees, which is pretty awesome. Then we have the US Bank Cash Plus card and the Cash Plus credit card offers possibly the most flexible options for your 5% categories of all these cards here. And I am a big, big fan of the US Bank Cash Plus card. Because remember, you're gonna get to pick two 5% categories that you're gonna earn 5% back on up to the first $2,000 you spend each quarter. This would give you up to $100 in rewards if you could max out those categories. And the list of categories is pretty awesome to choose from. Now, you'll also notice with the Cash Plus, you can always pick gym and fitness memberships. But since the Freedom is offering that this quarter, you can select another category for quarter two if you were using this for your gym memberships. And I always like to mention this to people, but it's gonna take three business days for your categories to go live. So don't wait to pick your categories because if you wait and try to select them and make a purchase that day, you're not gonna be earning that 5% back. And I really feel the Cash Plus card is a good card to fill in those gaps where you're not earning 5% back. Now let's take a look at the City Dividend card. And the categories for the City Dividend card in quarter two are for drugstores and for Amazon. And Amazon, well, it's a pretty popular store for people to shop at if you didn't know that. And drugstores for some people are a pretty popular place as well because both of these options sell third-party gift cards and some people just spend a lot of money at Amazon to begin with. Remember, with the dividend card, it's a little bit different than the other cards in this list because you can earn 5% back up to $300 per calendar year. There's not a quarterly limit like the Chase Freedom or the Discover It card. It's a yearly limit. So if you're somebody who's already hit that $300 yearly limit in quarter one, leave this card in your card graveyard. Then lastly, let's take a look at the new Cinda Platinum Cash Reward card. Now, I always like to add this card to the list because I know some of you have it, but let me know if you want me to keep adding this card into these lists or cut it out for future videos. And the quarter two categories for the new Cinda Platinum card is for movies, restaurants, and home improvement stores. And you know what? I actually like these. Earning 5% back on your dining is great. And remember, you can buy third-party gift cards at home improvement stores as well. Also, for you moviegoers out there, 5% cash back on movies is pretty nice. But remember, just like the Chase Freedom and the Discover It credit card, you are limited to your 5% back on the first $1,500 you're spending each quarter. You know, I think overall, quarter two is a pretty good quarter. 
I love the fact that we again have 5% back on groceries and gas with your Discover and Chase Freedom card. Gym users can earn 5% back on their memberships and there are plenty of options to still earn 5% back on gift cards at places you would normally spend money on to begin with. So tell me, what do you think of the quarter two categories? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And if you know somebody who could benefit from this video, feel free to share with them. And until next time, safe travels and take care.